Bubbles, someone's at the door. Wanted Bubbles for trespassing? Not again. Bubbles? You have some explaining to do. Swimming in private residential pools? I thought you were over this. And how do they get your profile? There's no time to joke around, Bubbles. I could turn you in right now and get all the Red Bull I wanted. What's up, everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK to get a user's profile information. By the end of this video, we will have a script where we pass along the user's ID and an access token and get back their profile information. We're going to get back their biography, IDs, their follower, follows count, media, name, profile picture, username, and their website. So we're going to begin by heading over to our Instagram Graph API PHP SDK GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. Click on the Wiki tab, and we're going to scroll down to our endpoint. And for this video, we're looking at the IG user endpoint. And on this page in the Wiki here, we will see our Git user info. Here's the code snippet we need which will return us the info that we saw in the script that we ran at the beginning of this video. We're going to copy that code, and we're going to paste it in our editor. Here we're using the user class from the PHP SDK. In order to use the class, we need to specify some config params, a user ID, and an access token. If you don't know how to get these things, there's a video on each of them, one on how to get the user ID, and one on how to get the access token. Go check out my Instagram Graph API PHP SDK playlist on YouTube. Or you can simply go back to the homepage for the wiki, and there's a YouTube tutorial right here which will take you right to the playlist on YouTube. There it is. So once you get your user ID, you're gonna place that right here. And then you're gonna place your access token right here. Then the config gets passed in when you create a new user, and in order to get the user's info from that user class, you simply call the get self on that user. Then we're going to go ahead and print out our user info. So now it's time to open a new tab and head over to our ig.test.php. Run that, and we should get back our information. So here is my information on my user profile, since I passed along my ID. And let's pull up my Instagram account in another tab just to verify the data matches. We have my username, Justin Stolpe, and there's my username. We have uh, 363 posts. There's the media account, 363. We have 1961 followers. There's our followers count. Follows count is 479. That also matches. And we have our website URL right here, which should be in our website. There it is. And last but not least, we have our profile picture right here. Let's check this out. Here's our profile picture URL. Let's copy this whole URL here. And let's open a new tab and see if that's my profile picture. There it is. So that is all the stuff that Instagram is going to return to us for the user's profile. Below here you can see we have some debug information, which is what the SDK appends on so you can easily troubleshoot if anything goes wrong. Here's the user ID we passed along, the fields that we asked for. These match up with what we got back right here. Then we have our Graph API version, there's our access token that we passed along, and here's the request. This is where the actual URL to the endpoint gets created. We have our access token, our method is a git request, the endpoint is slash user ID, the parameters required are fields and access token, and the URL, the most important part. This is the actual URL that we hit to get our information back. This was generated based off of all this other information we provided, but don't worry, the SDK takes care of all that for you. All you need to do is specify a user ID and an access token. Hopefully the SDK will save you a lot of time, so now you can go ahead and take this information, sprinkle a little HTML and CSS on it, and make it look pretty. And that is how you get a user's profile information with the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at the business discovery endpoint, which is where you can specify any username and get back their posts. Links to the GitHub, the Wiki, the Facebook documentation will be down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.